Okay, this is a, something I am struggling with, frankly. Um, let's say we have a bond, and if you're in a large corporation, it's very possible that you need to present things on a monthly basis, on a semi-annual basis, or a quarterly basis. <laughs> okay? Now, uh, so we let's say we issue a debt of 1000 And then what did I do? I said, well, the payments are just, uh, we're just going to make this a uh, three-year debt. Okay? <sighs> and, um, you know, uh, why does it say calculate? I guess I... Let's make it automatic, okay? And, you know, I'm going to uh, uh, go to our uh, chapter one and Excel Utilities and get you the generic uh, macros. Now, you know what I'm thinking about doing is if I press Shift Control C, I just get the, the kind of the uh, uh, color, the inputs. Okay, so that that's our simple input, and this we have to be careful with this E date takes that last date, and I subtracted. Uh, one to get the last paint. This is really just a minute. Let's call the, this one the last payment date. Okay, now uh, once we have this uh, date, here's the problem. I hate this, but we want to uh, compute first. Okay, let's say we issue this this in April, so the month is of the issues for. That's not very much. Now, what I did here to see how this works is, okay, let's say we issued this in, uh, I must have put some drop-down box here. So let's say we issued it in January. I don't have to do the drop-down box with you, I don't think. Okay? Now, if we issued this in January, then we're going to go six months until our, our first payment. So we'll make, let's say we issued it the end of January, will be Jan February, March, April, May, June. That I count that six on my five on my fingers but uh you know let's just see this we're, we're, we're going to look at this in a minute but we we need to go one two three four five six including january and then one two three four five six including this so actually what we do is we start with much six okay and then we say, okay, well, let's go six months after that. So that's month 12. Okay, so far? Now, in February, we'll just uh, have our first payment as, as uh, 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 July, August, September, October, November, December. So once we get to eight... Then we start with one again, and then we so so this month eight seems to be a, a, a big month. Okay, now remember we said okay this is this plus plus six, but we can't do that because as soon as we do that it goes one. So uh, what did I do here? So I just put oh I know what I did. Okay, well, that didn't work. So I just said, okay, let's just type one. Okay, so, and then let's just add one. 
Okay. Now, let's see if we can come up with a formula that gives us these horrible months based on this kind of issue date. So, issue month. Okay. And um, uh, so, we can say, well, I, I have the thing here, but let's try to do this. So what happens is until we hit 8, it's okay. So why don't I do it like this? I'm going to do it differently. If the, this month is less than 8, then we, somebody can explain that. Then the first issue date is this plus 5. Is that okay? So, you know, we can put a little test whether we're whether it's really working, okay? You could even, you know, do some kind of lookup thing, okay? Test first. First. And then let's put computed first. And then computed second. Okay? And then uh Okay, but of course we, it didn't work after here because after 8 we just, uh, how do we do this? We take, uh, um, we got to think about this, uh, after 8 we'll just take uh, 8, 9, 10, shit, um, otherwise we take um, so just a minute. Fuck. Uh, sorry about that. So if we look at this, this 7 is 8 minus 1. This 9, this, uh, uh, I'm sorry. This is 8 minus 1. 7 minus, this 1 is is, is this minus 7, this is 2 minus 7, 3 minus 7, 4. So what we do is then, otherwise we take uh, um, uh, the month minus 7, okay? So that's there are probably a hundred different ways to do this, but now we've uh, done this. So the first payment date, I put minus seven there. Uh, I put minus seven. I put less than or equal to seven. Now for the second date, remember it's this. So what? Uh, uh, so this this actually was easier. So if it was one. Then we use 12. Otherwise, notice this is just the month minus 1. So we put if the uh, issue date equals 1, then we put 12. Otherwise, we take this issue date minus 1. Okay. And that's what's, that's what's in this date. Okay. And I'm going to stop this and call this uh, monthly issue dates, okay? Because it's such a damn pain.